Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to some more Triangle Strategy. Uh, so in the last episode, we uh, we just completed the first battle, uh, which is basically like a tutorial. Um, and after which, we came over here back to the uh, the map screen. Um, I guess the red indicator is going to be the next main mission. Um, but before doing that, I want to uh, I guess check out the side mission real quick. Probably not going to do all the side missions uh, in this playthrough. Um, reason being is because I'm starting to run out of time uh, b between now and the release of like Live Alive and uh, Digimon Survive. Um, so I want to try to complete this game beforehand. Uh, I may have to, I guess, play through it a little bit after those games release, but uh, you know, that's fine. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and check this one out. Let's see. Cool. Uh, so I guess this is going to be mostly story. I'm not sure though. Wherever did my fool brother run off to? I explicitly told him I wanted him here when we welcome our guests. It would seem Prince Roland shrugged off the King's Guard and went on a little excursion, as he's wont to do. I swear it's as if the boy exists to drive us mad. He is an embarrassment to our family. I think before it, uh, let me view some of the other characters. Yeah, there you go. Cool, right? Yeah, let's see. No matter. I will see to matters myself. Yeah, hey, how's it going? Your honored guests have arrived, your highness. I see new faces among them. I trust you can tell me more, Clarice. But of course, your highness. Here we go, let's see. We're glad that the, uh, they let you get some more info on the characters on the side like that. The imposing looking woman over there is General Avlora of Esfrost. Her prowess in battle is such that some say she is the second coming of Groma Iron Fist, hero of the Salt Iron War. If the rumors of her strength are true, she is more likely to emerge victorious than any but the Dawn Spear himself. Over there is Minister Exham Marshall of the Holy State of Hyzant. He is the newest appointee to the Saintly Seven and has been placed in charge of the military and diplomatic affairs. It is a rise to prominence nigh unheard of for one so young. A general of the Grand Duchy and Hyzant's young hope. I imagine this will not be the last I hear of them. I know this man, source the end of Hyzant, yes? Just so, my lord. As you doubtless know, he is the Holy State's Minister of Salt. A prestigious position, though it is said he feels threatened by Minister Exham of late. So even the great monolith that is the Holy State is not immune to internal strife. Thank you, Clarice. I can see they were not wrong to tap you to lead the consortium. As the officially appointed bookmaker for the tournament, it would not do for me to be ignorant of the combatants. Your Highness, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica, brother and sister of the Archduke, have arrived. They will be joining the festivities in Archduke Gustadal's stead. Word has it that Lord Thallus has been appointed Prime Minister, which would make him the second most influential individual in all of Esfrost. 
Archduke Gustadolf is said to prize freedom more than anything. It would seem that includes the freedom to put his own family above all. With all due respect, Your Highness, the decisions of another nation are their own. Do take care not to say anything that might offend our new allies. You need not remind me, Patriot. I know there is little to be gained from quarreling with Esfrost's ruling family. Honored guests, I am Franny, Crown Prince of Glenbrook. It is an honor to welcome you to our kingdom in my father's stead. I can assure you we have spared no effort in preparing for tomorrow's festivities. Let us ring in this new age of alliance together. Though I imagine some may be too occupied awing us with their prowess in the tourney to enjoy the revelry themselves, Allow me to escort you to Whiteholm Castle, where the ceremony will take place, whenever you're ready. Prince Roland, finally you return. At ease, you ex. I trust all was well in my absence. Well enough. Another visit to the Wolfort Domain, was it? Indeed. On minor business. My apologies for leaving unannounced. Apologies indeed. You know full well that I am under strict orders from your father to accompany you on any excursions outside the castle. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Besides, no one would lose any sleep if something happened to me. Father and friend would lose the ball. Even Cordelia would get along perfectly fine without her brother. Well, I would not. Or have you forgotten that you are my one and only sworn liege? You act. Forgive me, truly. It won't happen again. I should hope not. So it is true that you plan to fight in the tourney on the morrow, and alongside House Wolfort, no less. How did you...? His Grace told me, when he commanded me to keep you out of trouble. <sighs> Your father knew all along. And so I have decided to fight at your side. You won't be slipping away on my watch this time. As you wish. Alright, um... See if there's any other side missions. So it's kind of cool though while you're exploring the map um as soon as you like hover over a different area you'll see the region map change uh i think that's it for side missions we're gonna go to the uh next main mission now i guess Welcome back, the both of you. Were there any troubles while we were out? None to speak of, aside from Eridor here. But what else is new? Out with it, Benedict! I heard you were beset by brigands. Is the young lord safe? Lower your voice. Must you always shout so? Or can't you see that it was that big mouth of yours that invited trouble in the first place? There is no cause for concern, Eridor. Besides, I'm not a child anymore. 
Mayhap not, my lord. But I've known you since you were knee-high to a... This must be the young lord's bride-to-be. I am Frederica. It is a pleasure and honor to meet you all. And I am Gila, her attendant. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Allow me to introduce those in service of House Wolfort. This is Arador, Master at Arms and Commander of our military forces. You'll be the lady of House Wolfort. No harm will befall you as long as I'm around. And this is Anna, my right hand. If you require anything, just say the word. They may not be of my blood, but they are my family just the same. And from this day on, they're your family as well. I am aware that in all of Glenbrook, House Wolfort is second only to the royal family in power and influence. I will do my best not to disappoint you. A joyous day this is! The little lord grew up and found himself the perfect bride! Nah, it brings a tear to my eye. His voice certainly does carry. Sorry, my lady, but you'll have to get used to it. <laughs> My lord, your father awaits you in his chambers. As for me, I must stay and discuss the preparations for tomorrow's festivities with Anna and Erador. Lady Frederica, pray come with me. Father is expecting us. Nice. That's really cool, right? All right, Anna sounds like a really cool character in this. As you are well aware, there are two events of utmost importance to be conducted before Lord Serenella and his bride are wed. The ceremony to commemorate the joint mining venture. Still can't believe I'll be seeing the day when we break ground on a new mine right here in Glenbrook. And with the full support of Esfrost and Hyzant, no less. You can thank King Regnant for that. It was by his most wise and generous proposal that the three nations of Norzelia now strive toward a common goal. Needless to say, delegates from each nation will be joining in the festivities. From the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, Lord Dragan Esfrost, who is overseeing the technical side of the mining operations. The Holy State of Hyzant will be represented by Minister Lila Viscraft of the Saintly Seventh. And our own Lord Simon will serve as Glenbrook's delegate and meet with the two before the ceremony. Yes? Quite so. After that, it will be House Wolfort's responsibility to see that our honored guests feel welcome. Anna, I would trust you safeguarding both Lord Dragan and Minister Lila. Okay, I think something was unplugged or something. Um. I think everything's fine though. Yeah, it looks like... Okay. Consider it done. Then once that stuffy ceremony is over, we can get to the real highlight of the day. The tourney! Ah, my blood's already rushing. Just envision and the greatest warriors from all the realm clashing swords. From Esfrost, the much renowned general of Laura. 
And from Hyzant, Minister Exham Marshall. I have heard much of his prowess as well. Then, of course, there's our reign inventor, the pride of Glenbrook, Sir Maxwell the Dawnspear. Still, I wish him all the best of luck against their hosts. They'll need it to beat House Wolfort. On that matter, there are two things I should make clear. Prince Roland has expressed a desire to join the tourney as a member of House Wolfort's contingent. Why would the boy want to fight with us and not his own arms master? Apparently, he originally formally requested to do just that, but King Regna would not allow it. And so he came to the young lord in hopes of finding another way in. Well, it's more than welcome in my book. The royal family said we're free to put together our own contingent after all. I reckon his majesty would be beside himself with joy if we could deliver a beaten to Esfrost and Isand. Doubtless so. Very well. I shall inform the prince that he is welcome in our ranks. Finally, there is the matter of Lord Simon's health? Indeed. Sadly, the Lord of the House is in no condition to participate in the tourney. Barring some miracle, I anticipate that Lord Serenoa will have to fight in his Lord Father's stead. Lord Simon. I suppose age takes its toll on even the mightiest of men. So be it then. You can leave watching over the young lord and Prince Roland to me. Good. I remind you that while this is a joyous occasion, all of our attendees have their own reasons for coming. Let us not give them an opportunity to catch us unaware. I'm trying to see if there's uh, any side missions that may have opened up after that. Which, it appears that there aren't any new ones. Alright, uh, guess I'll go back to the main mission. Or was that? Okay, there it is. Alright, so it sounds like there's uh, some kind of tournament or something that's going to open up. Uh, and I guess Sereno is going to have to fight in his father's stead because his father is, uh, I guess he's getting a little up there in age, so uh, he's in the best of health. So that's probably going to happen to Sereno. He's going to have to fight, fight instead. A pleasure to meet you, my lord. I am Frederica of House Esfrost. Ho oh, ho, the pleasure is all mine. Were it not for the efforts of House Wolfort, the Sultian War would rage on still today. I do not deserve the honor of joining your esteemed family, but I will endeavor to serve you all the same. <laughs> There is no need for such formalities, my girl. You are tired from your journey, I am sure. Pray rest easy tonight. All right, so this voice actor, um, he sounds kind of like Jiraiya from the old uh, Naruto cartoon. So that's that's kind of cool. I'm not sure if it's the same guy, but he sounds really similar, which is cool. Thank you, my lord. I believe that in any journey, the first step is the most important. Before we go forward together, I should like to know why you chose to welcome one of Roselle in blood, such as I. Oh, I'd heard you were a strong-willed one. 
pray forgive my insolence. Uh, and yet, I am set to marry into a mighty house of a foreign nation. I should like to know what you wish of me, that I might live up to your expectations. A most reasonable request. Both of you, listen well. Yes, father. Your marriage was agreed upon by Glenbrook and S. Frost, that the ties between our two nations might be strengthened. To give us more leverage against Tizen, with their monopoly over salt. Precisely. With Glenbrook and S. Frost consolidating their power, Tizant was left with little choice but to join the Alliance. And yet, while Lady Frederica is indeed the Archduke's sister, at the same time she is the daughter of a Rosellan concubine. And House Walford, for all our military prowess, is no more than a bannerman of the King. If the aim was to forge the strongest bond we could between our two nations... It would be far more appropriate for my sister, Lady Erica, to wed the Crown Prince of Glenbrook. Just so, yet neither nation chose that. And do you know why? So that if relations between our two countries were to take a turn for the worse... We could be cast away like pawns. Precisely. Such are the schemes of those who rule nations. <sighs> I understand now. And yet... No matter how impure the intentions behind this arrangement may be, I will not bring dishonor to the Wolfport name. Well said, my son. If that is your decision, then... <gasps> oh. Father! Lord Simon! <sighs> I am an old man. My health is not what it once was. For this reason and more, I have made my decision. As of this day, I abdicate my position as Lord of House Wolfort. You will serve in my stead from tomorrow forth, my son. But, Father, I am not ready to... My decision is not made lightly. You have already shown me, with your words and your deeds, you are more than ready. Think always about what your subjects need from you. Weigh your choices carefully, then take action. Do so, and I have no doubt you will make a great lord. And trust in Benedict. He shall serve you as well as he did me. Thank you, Father. I will spare no effort that one day I may be as beloved by our people as you. Lady Frederica, your fate is not a simple one. There are many who would try to use the both of you as pawns in their own scheme. Even so, I hope that you will be there to support my son through it all as his wife, but also as your own person. This is House Wolfort's entreaty and the wish of a father. Of course, my lord. It was my intention from the moment I boarded the ship. Beg pardon, my lord, but Lord Jagan and Minister Lila have arrived. Very well. Presiding over tonight's banquet will be my final duty as Lord of the House. Tomorrow's ceremony will mark the beginning of yours, my son. 
And after that will be your wedding. Rest well tonight, both of you, for busy days lie ahead. <laughs> Thirty years after the salt iron raged across Norzelia, a vein of precious minerals was unearthed in the kingdom of Glenbrook. From east to west, joy swept the land. United at last in common cause, the kingdom of Glenbrook, the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, and the Holy State of Hyzant endeavored to wrest this bounty from the earth with each nation providing expertise and resources. This uneasy alliance between once bitter enemies will herald a new era of tranquility in this long and battled realm. One after another, dignitaries from each nation arrive in Glenbrook. To solidify this accord and toast to its success, the first step on the road to peace. Among those who would forge this road is Sarah Noah Wolffort. Inheriting the title of Lord Wolffort from his father Simon, he must decide what foundation he would lay for this new era. Welcome to Castle Wolfort, Minister Lila. Allow me to express my gratitude to the Holy State. Were it not for your nation's generous efforts, this venture would never have come to fruition. You are too kind, Lord Simon. You too have served an invaluable role in this. Though I must admit, the news of the union between your son and Lady Frederica came as quite the surprise. None in Hyzant considered that a bannerman of Glenbrook would join with the ruling family of Esfrost. I hear that Lady Frederica is the Archduke's half-sister. I must ask, how did this arrangement come to be? Oh, your curiosity is only natural. This union was promised during the war, an arrangement made with the previous Archduke. Truth be told, I am surprised one as well informed as yourself did not already know. And this is your son, as I recall. Sarah Noah Wolfort, at your service, Minister. And I am Frederica Esfrost. My son still has much to learn, but I believe this marriage will herald a bright future for us all. For today, I intend to step down and leave House Wolfort in Sarah Noah's capable hands. You're abdicating your position? Surprising news comes in pairs, I see. Nonetheless, I am happy for you both. Yo, how's it going? Hey, thank you for uh, stopping by the stream. I really appreciate it. at tonight's banquet will take great interest in the new Lord Wolfort, as will I. Have you ever uh, played this game before? Uh, 
I'm liking it so far. It, I'm still really early in, in the game. I uh, I just made it to chapter two. Um, so far, I've only been in one major battle. Um, and other than that, it's just been mostly dialogue thus far. But it's not a bad thing. Uh, it's cool that it's building up the story, the characters, and, and whatnot. Um, so far, I did have one of those, I guess, uh, choices you would make throughout the game. Uh, kind of, I guess, dictate where the story would go. It, so far, it's pretty cool, though. From what I've played, it's definitely worth uh, jumping into. Um, I heard that there's, like, numerous different uh, endings you can get with this. Because, uh, I guess, the different, you know, branches in the, in the story that can happen. So what, uh, what game are you currently playing? As a fellow scholar of sorts, if in a different field, I am always curious to learn how great discoveries are made. He should have arrived by now. Has anyone seen him? Dragan's gone to see the city. He was halfway there before the gangplank landed on the docks. Ah, he is your cousin, yes. I see we share an innate curiosity for new places. Yakuza Zero, that game is really good. Um, I love how wild the, uh, the side quests are in that game. But the main quest is uh, super serious and stuff. Um, and also has some cool mini games too. Like uh, when I played it, I really enjoyed the the karaoke games. Those those were a ton of fun. Um, I think there was. I may have, I may have gotten it mixed up, but I think there was a uh, RC game or, or something too. I can't recall. It's it's been a while. Um, but I did have a lot of fun with it. Have you ever played um, uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon? Very good. Though I will host tonight's festivities, I want you to act as if you're already Lord of the House. Our guests are the most esteemed personages of their respective nations. Take care not to cause offense. Of course, Father. Yeah, um, I played a little bit of it. I need to jump back into it, though. Um, so I got it for the PlayStation, uh, and I got, I don't know, I guess a few chapters into it. Um, but then I put it down because I guess another game came out around the same time. Uh, so I jumped into that one instead. Um, but I do see it on Game Pass, so I may go ahead and, uh, play it again at some point so I can maybe stream it. I, I think that'd be a lot of fun. items oh that's cool um terrain and stuff review that nice that's cool so i guess i like that feature to where you know you can explore however much that you'd like um and when you're done you just end it with the uh plus button so it's kind of up to the player on how much they want to do. That's pretty cool. And uh, there was, I can't remember, Judgment, I think, is the one that I played before. Um, I think that's the first game. That one was a lot of fun, too. Um, from what I played, it's a lot like uh, Yakuza. It, the, uh, the main story is super serious, but the, uh, the side quests are really bizarre. Like, I think uh, when I played Judgment before, there was this one game or um, side mission where this, this person was uh, like a peeping Tom or something. And uh, you had to go ahead and, and stop him, like beat him up and whatnot. But the uh, mission had like different Pokemon references or, or something. It was really 
bizarre. Uh, kind of funny though. All right, so I guess for this um, particular question, I'll have you kind of decide um, if you like. Um, of these options, which one should I go with? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, man, they had so many weird quests in that. option okay cool nice thank you I think I may do something like that for other games too like um, I know that the query uh, just came out recently and I think that's a uh, choose your own venture game so it'd be kind of cool to have the audience dictate the, uh, the story My brother, he uh, played the uh, Yakuza games a little while ago, um, and he really enjoyed them. He played, man, he uh, he rushed through those games. I think there's like seven of them or something, and he beat them in I don't know, like a month's time. It was kind of insane considering how big those games are. Let's see for this one. I'm getting some like uh, Wind Waker vibes from this one. Wind Waker slash um, Metal Gear. I know that Metal Gear uses boxes and stuff, but that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from the middle option. Kind of cool. So uh, for this one, should I go top, middle, or uh, bottom? They also said I can get some items, so it might be good to try to find, you know, some of those before the upcoming battle. I really want to jump into uh, Live Alive after this. I've been uh, looking forward to that game for a while now. That and uh, Digimon Survive. I know that uh, Xenoblade is coming out at the end of the month, or uh, end of next month. But uh, I'm probably not going to jump into it right away. I'm currently on the side when I'm not streaming, um, I've been playing uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 1. And I'm not sure uh, you got into those games, but they are uh, some pretty big games. And I wanted to 
finish the others before jumping to the third one. Nice, that's awesome. That's really cool. Um, I know that a lot of people had issues with the, uh, the website um, when they, when, I guess, when they went live. Uh, it was crashing for a lot of people. I tried to get in there. Uh, I wasn't too worried about it. I did get the uh, the standard edition pre-ordered. Uh, I know that uh, they do have the collector's edition going back up on the site uh, tomorrow. I'm not sure what time, but sometime tomorrow. They will have the uh, collector's edition again. Um, I think that's cool though. That you were able to get it. That's awesome. Yo, yeah, the D Dragon Quest uh, 3 HD 2D is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I never played the original. I'd like to. Um, I know that they have the trilogy pack. It's right. I think it's exclusive to Japan. They do have the... Uh, digital copies on the eShop, but uh, I'd like to play those before the HD remake comes out. Let me see if I can go in here. Cool. Nice, that's awesome though. How's it in uh, Australia? What time is it over there too? Because where I'm at, it's currently uh, like just after 7 p.m. so I don't know what the time difference is. Wow, that's that's awesome, and hopefully work's going good for you. Well, um, yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah, the time difference is in, is kind of insane, but yeah, hopefully, uh, work is going for good for you. Well, that's cool. Let's see these notes. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so it's like basically the uh, the whole group. I know that uh, a lot of those folks, um, they jump on the uh, Mr. Mr. Gaming channel uh, when they can. It's really cool. Um, I see them in the chat. Occasionally, like I know that uh, yeah, actually all of them, uh, they stop by... Uh, my shows before in the past it's really cool and it's good to see you jump by uh as well it's awesome it's just uh it's cool seeing the community get together and uh support each other like i know that uh gunmetal he just released a uh video earlier today i'm not sure if you've seen it yet um but he did this uh unboxing video it was really really cool um got a few games from uh from skits they had like uh, a uh, Super Robot Wars game, um, like a Ninja Gaiden, and then one other one. It was really neat. Oh, nice. Um, it's really cool. I, I didn't know you guys had your own Discord. The Wolfpack. I, I think I've um I've seen you guys like host different um Smash Bros tournaments and stuff too. 
because I, I seen on like Twitter, um, like usually you guys have uh, tournaments. I, I don't know what the schedule is or anything like that, but I think like, um, I think Chris has been in, in some of those before too. It's awesome though, like the uh, the wolf pack. That's a really cool name. I think for the most part, I may have gotten everything. I'm not sure. I'm gonna do a quick pass through again. Oh, I guess I did miss something. Okay, cool. Got that. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll have to see if, uh, you know, maybe if you guys are cool with it, maybe I can join your Discord as well and, uh, like, partake in uh, the tournaments and stuff. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm down with it, if you guys are. So, I think that uh, all the items, I'm going to go ahead and save just in case something happens. And... Yeah, no, no worries. I thank you for your hospitality today, Lord Saranoa. Think nothing of it. Did you enjoy the city, Lord Dragan? Quite. Its people are full of life and love for their lord. That says all I need to know about House Wolfort. You honor us with your words. I am only being frank. Frederica is the sister of the Archduke, after all, and my cousin besides. I would not see her marry into an unworthy house. Suffice to say, my expectations were exceeded. I have heard much of your ingenious contributions to mining efforts. I sense prosperous days are ahead of us. As do I. Finally, our nations enter into an age unfettered by war. With Esfrost's iron, Hyzant's salt, and Glenbrook's mediation, there is no limit to what we can achieve. We must regard each other as equals, and forge mutually beneficial relationships. I sense skepticism in your words, Lord Dragan. Do you mean to imply our relations are not already mutually beneficial? I need not imply anything. The salt tax you claim makes my case more than clear. Bold words from one so young. Is that how peers speak to one another? Perhaps the young ones, yes. What do you think, Lord Saranoa? Dissatisfaction with the salt tax was one cause of the war, was it not? Salt is a divine boon, a gift from the goddess to her true believers. This is the foundation of the teachings that guide us in Hyzant. By allying with Esfrost, do you mean to gainsay our most fundamental beliefs? Of course not, Minister. We understand that the source is Norzelia's sole supply of salt. And we would not deny that it is the Holy State's right to harvest and tax it as you see fit. Thank you for acknowledging that. Though it strikes me that your words are measured. You needn't be so non-committal, Lord Saranoa. It is only reasonable that the three of us have differing opinions on the matter. However, that is all the more reason for us to be open to frank discussion. Hmm. 
honored guests, <laughs> pray forgive my son. We of House Wolfort are but simple warriors. <laughs> I'm afraid matters of finance and politics do not come to us naturally. This, however, I can say. We will fight injustice and tyranny where so... Of course, we do not enjoy conflict. Still, we will not hesitate to defend our land and our people should the need arise. No matter how mighty the threat, we will fight for home and kingdom. Yes, Lord Simone. Of that we are keenly aware. I apologize if I spoke out of turn. But the fact remains that as every winter passes, the tension between our nations grows, and salt is the cause. The common folk have all but forgotten its taste. I simply want to ease their suffering. The ministry I oversee is committed to the preservation of life. I personally believe that salt should not be a luxury reserved for the privileged few. All those who live require it. Not just those lucky enough to be born within the borders of our holy state. You agree with me then? How I feel matters little. In Hyzant, the word of the goddess, as conveyed to us from the lips of the Hierophant, is absolute. But perhaps this joint mining venture of yours may lead to the change you seek. Indeed, we must set our gazes to the future. Oh, I expect you will be the ones to usher us into a new era. Yes, father. Now that's what I call a feast. You've landed quite the catch, Frederica. He is a good man. I can see it in his eyes. You are too kind, Lord Dragan. And humble as well. Are you impressed as I, Frederica? I can tell that your heart is pure and gentle, my lord. Lady Frederica... Forgive me if I caused offense. I thought only to return your sincerity in kind. No apologies are needed. I am happy to meet your approval. I... Thank you, my lord. <laughs> Words come so easily to the both of you. And a perfect match. Forgive my curiosity. What sort of life did Lady Frederica lead in Esfrost? Her life? <laughs> Truth be told, my dear, Serenoa, not a pleasant one. Those of Rosellen blood are looked down upon in Esfrost, <laughs> even if they are the daughter of the Archduke's concubine. Gustadolf's full siblings are the worst of the lot. They have not a shred of human compassion between them. They cruelly bully the girl endlessly, regardless of time or place. Is this... True? Of course it is! I know Frederica's suffering all too well. My own father lived ever in the shadow of his elder brother, the former Archduke. Our house, too, is met with sneers by those who consider themselves our betters. But no more! I shall show all those simpering thoughts that it is not birth that makes greatness, but deeds. And so I did my due research at the Archives, that my grand invention shall blast our way forward! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Trigan, please. I believe you've had enough to drink. You can hardly blame me for availing myself of Glenbrook's finest libations. Brought by traders from the realm over. Each cask more exotic than the last. <laughs> Why, do not partake would be an affront to our newfound allies. Just make sure your head is clear for tomorrow. Or have you forgotten you're meant to be representing your nation? Mm, oh, yes, a, a ceremony to usher in a new age of harmony and prosperity. I am too young to have known the war, so I... I see our three nations joining hands more as a matter of expedience. But what of you, my kin to be? How do you see our grand cooperative venture? It is the first step towards true harmony among our three nations. I welcome it. I see. I admire your optimism, even if I cannot say I share it. I know that old grudges die hard. Still, I choose to believe we can overcome our differences. <laughs> Truly, a kind-hearted soul you are. And people are ever eager to follow a kind heart over a wicked one. Hmm, yes, I suspect it shall be your strength going forward. In any event, it is always good to have another perspective on matters. Let me tell you what I believe. I believe we're on the cusp of a great achievement! As always, it is the young who must bear the burden of building the future. Old shoulders are frail, old minds stubborn. Whatever lies in our future, those who make it will mark their names in history. And mine, mine will be writ large! for all to see! And I would write yours next to it, my dear cousin. Pray, come visit me at the mines once operations are underway, and I, I shall... Trigan, are you quite all right? Worry not, Frederica. I'm just a bit <laughs> tipsy. Perhaps I should <laughs> just lie. It would seem Lord Dragan has turned in for the night. Quite the passionate fellow, isn't he? He's never been one to hide his ambition. Ever since we were little. Neither does he hide his disapproval of my brother and trueborn siblings. Feelings which you share? I grant it would be satisfying to see the sneers of those who look down on me wiped from their faces. But I also agree with Lord Simone that we must set our gazes to the future. Though I know not yet how I might best serve in this new age, I would do what I can. We are of the same mind in that regard, my lady. Let us ease the weight of each other's burdens. Please, call me Frederica. We are to be husband and wife after all. Of course, my... <laughs> Frederica. Pray call me Saranoa as well. Uh, 
We should carry your cousin to his chambers. Will you help me, Frederica? Certainly, Saranoa. Let us take care not to wake him, lest he resume his prattle. Hey, welcome back. So I guess that uh, the one guy, he just had too much to drink and he ended up passing out in that cutscene. <sighs> Benedict, I thought I might find you here. So the uh, voice actor for, uh, I guess, it's Simone, I guess. He sounds a lot like uh, Jiraiya. I'm not sure if you've seen Naruto, but uh, he sounds kind of like the English voice actor for uh, Jiraiya from that cartoon. Forgive me, my lord. I did not think to. Save your apologies, Benedict. Doubtless she was overjoyed to hear it from you. Destra always did trust you above all her advisors. As do I, for 30 years you have served my house better than I ever could have asked for. You honor me, my lord. Hmm. Weird. Uh, let me check it out real quick. Awesome, thank you. I just got it. Nice, thank you. My lord, <laughs> I suspect this will be the last night I will hear those. My lord, I will call for a healer at once. I'm sorry, somebody's at the door. Um, I'm gonna be right back. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, Octopath Traveler? Yeah, I played a little bit of that. I need to... That's another game I need to jump into again and, uh, and finish. But from what I played, uh, I really liked it. Especially, like, it's using the uh, the same art style as this. And um, that's an art style I really appreciate. It's, it's something that um, really holds up, I think. 
You know as well as I how my heart now fails me. My lord. And so I entrust Sarah Noah to you. For our house, pray heed this old man's final order. Certainly. I will live to serve your son until I breathe my last. Did you hear that, Destra? Our boy is in good hands. My old dear friend, long have we stood together. I will not let you down, my lord. My beloved son, Sarah Noah, will oversee the matters of our house from this day forward. I expect you to serve him as dutifully... Did you, uh, you play Octopath? If so, uh, what did you think of the game? Of course, Lord Simon. I'm a lord. Our undying loyalty to House Wolfwood. My son, listen well. The Lord's judgment shapes the fates of his kin and subjects alike. Responsibility for their well-being now falls on your shoulders. You must lead them well. Yes, Father. Nice. Yeah, I think it was a really good game. Um, I thought the combat was pretty good the art style is fantastic and i'm glad that they use it in games like this one and uh like live live and the dragon quest remake uh i do like that uh, like i said though um i do need to finish that game it was really good i'll probably end up um i guess restarting it it's been a long time since i last played it so i probably need to restart it um but i, I think that's not a bad thing though because you know from what i've played it was it was really good The music was pretty good too, um, and I think the music in this one, uh, at least from so far, um, it's a bit hit or miss. Like right now, the music is pretty good, but some sometimes it honestly sounds like elevator music or something. Um, so I, I don't think the soundtrack in this one is as good as Octopath. Um, the voice acting is not bad though, at least right now. I think uh, Live Life has voice acting. I didn't play the demo yet. Did you check out the demo? I shirk not from this responsibility. At the same time, I would be a fool to not seek guidance from those more traveled than I. For my house and my people, I trust I can rely on you. Well spoken, my son. I dare say you are more than ready to receive this. The scales of conviction, a holy relic said to be blessed by the deities of old. It was gifted to our family by the King of Glenbrook. From this day on, I entrust it to you. However, it is of little use without these. Coins. Seven of them. Tokens of conviction, we call them. Give one each to only your most trusted retainers and allies. They will guide you when the path is darkest. Their words will illuminate the pitfalls ahead. Heed well the advice of your friends and subjects and choose your steps carefully. Such has been the way of our house, and such you must see it always shall be. I will, Father. 
I shall treasure these gifts and make wise use of them in times of need. Very good. Now do your duty, my son. We await your orders, my lord. We depart for the capital at once. May this ceremony be but the first of many joyous occasions ahead of us. The house And so the stewardship of House Wolffort passes from father to son. Lord Simone Wolffort, beloved throughout Glenbrook, entrusts the future to young Serenoa. With the ceremony to mark the beginning of the joint mining venture and a tourney on the horizon, the Wolfort set forth to the Crown City. With no heroic deeds yet to his name, the new Lord Wolfort sets his eyes on the proving grounds, eager to show his worthiness. Sir Lord Simon will step down. I suppose the time comes for us all to pass on the torch eventually. What wisdom has your father bestowed upon you? Hmm. He has told me what it means to be lord of a house. Very good. Sarah Noah of House Wolfort, the crown of Glenbrook now looks to you for loyal service and brotherhood. Yes, your majesty. I shall not disappoint. I dare you to say that again, Thalys. Must you make me repeat myself? I am the Prime Minister of Esfrost. I and I alone am fit to represent our nation. Um, so the last Fire Emblem game I played was... I think it was called Awakening on the 3DS. That one was a lot of fun. Um, but I haven't tried the new ones yet. Um, I do want to pick up three houses at some point. I... I did see that it was on sale recently, so I might do that. Um, but I'll probably end up playing that one first before jumping into the uh, the Warriors game that recently came out. Um, because uh, I think the story carrier is over. I don't want to like uh, get spoilers or anything uh, from one game to the other. Yo, Gunmetal, what's up? How's it going? But um, for like... Fire Emblem, what I played of Awakening, that was a lot of fun. Um, I think I played, I think I played one of the GBA games before too. Um, so it was mostly the older games that I played. I didn't try the new stuff. You would say me. Did you play the, uh, the, uh, uh, Warriors? Fire Emblem game. I guess it's called, uh, I think it's Three Hopes. I think, um, from what I heard, Three Houses has, um, like, from what I've seen from reviews, they said it's kind of like Persona or something. You go to school, you kind of boost your stats, and then, uh, later on in the game, you go through, you know, the normal battles and stuff. Yo, Nightshade, what's up? How's it going? Oh, was um, Awakening was your, your first? Oh, no, I guess it was uh, Three Houses. Dragan, you forget yourself. Nice, nice. Did you play the uh, the other Warriors games, like um, Hyrule Warriors and uh, Age of Calamity? <laughs> Frederica? If 
you must bray at each other, then do so back home. Your bickering will bring shame. Oh man, OG streaming right now? That's awesome. It's been a while, uh I think the last one I uh I seen I seen him uh stream the, the direct the other day. That was that was a lot of fun. I need to go ahead and uh check that out. Yo, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, well, I seen uh I guess a lot of streamers do a layout like this. I wanted to try something similar. Yeah, for sure. The weekend's gonna be awesome. Um I'm looking forward to I guess the three day weekend, uh with Monday being the holiday. Do you think you're above us now that you're being wed to Mighty House Wolfort? Yeah, the same for me. I haven't tried uh, Age of Calamity yet. Um, my girlfriend, she played it, and uh, she she likes, I guess, some of the uh, the stuff that they did in the game. But uh, there were some performance issues. Um, her dad, uh, you know, liked it too, though. Um, but I guess the uh, consensus is it could have been a little bit better from what I heard. Uh, I do need to play it though and check out the story, especially before. Um, Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. My apologies, but the ceremony will begin soon. Oh, did you guys um what'd you guys think of the direct that happened the other day? I think was it yesterday or was it the day before? I I'm sorry, my days are getting mixed up now. And you must be Sarah Noel Wolford. Well, I suppose we should bother the happy couple no longer. Well done, Frederica. I see you've inherited your mother's wiles. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. It's going to be great. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to, to getting some time off. It'll be uh, a lot of fun. You guys got any plans for the uh, the holiday weekend? Oh, Band out of three. Yeah, that game was uh was announced a long time ago. I'm, did have a way with I hope it comes out this year, but uh I think it might get pushed into next year. Oh yeah. It was a fantastic direct. I um I'm not sure if you guys seen it on Twitter or not, but my all time favorite game, um or my favorite announcement from that was uh the uh Battle Network collection. I'm not sure if you guys played those. Um but the, those were some fantastic GBA games, um, and they were like my childhood. I grew up playing those, and uh, just have a lot, lot of nostalgia for it. Pray. That new, uh, I'm not sure, it's like Harvestia or something. It's the uh, Square Enix um, Rune Factory like game. It looks pretty cool. Those two, they were. Yeah, hopefully they let you uh, take the day off that day, especially if you if you don't get deliveries or anything like that. Nice. If you're uh, streaming over the weekend, I definitely need to check that out. Oh, Persona. That's that's really cool. Um, my only complaint with the Persona thing is. So Royal is getting a uh, physical, which is great, but I wish that the uh, Persona 3 and Persona 4 Golden um, got a physical release as well. I think that would have been great. Um, I mean, it's cool that it's still coming out, but I do wish that they had a physical release for it. I see. Well, I hope that we can all come together for the sake of our grand endeavor. Persona 4 is really good. Um, you should definitely check it out, Gunmetal. It's it's a lot of a lot of fun. Uh, I'm not sure if you played the other Persona games, but it's uh, well regarded for a good reason. Especially like the soundtrack in that game is fantastic. But, uh, yeah, definitely check it out if you get the chance.
That's cool that they got the uh, the D off though over there, or at least uh, I guess they used to. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was just. Uh, oh, that's cool. Uh, hopefully they do do the uh, physical because I know that um, there's still TBD on the release for that. Um, so yeah, hopefully the other two get a physical version. I haven't seen the anime for Persona 4, but I definitely need to watch that. And I uh, I need to do the same for uh, the Persona 5 anime. My honored guests, I am pleased to announce... Did you guys see the, um, the Japanese uh, direct? Apparently there were some games that uh, were announced there that aren't coming over here. Um, like, for example, they have this um, kaiju farming game. Um, basically... I guess you, uh, you're on a farm with some kaiju and you kind of raise your uh, different kaiju monsters and you can fuse them and battle uh, different monsters with it. Kind of cool. I mean, it's definitely a, a Japanese uh, like game and stuff, but uh, kind of a cool announcement though. I forget the, uh, the title of the game. Um, I know that I shared it on Twitter though. Um, it looked cool for what it was. May the mines endure for many years. It's a symbol of prosperity for all of our nations. Well said. With Hyzan's salt and capital, Esfrost's ingenuity. Man, I uh, I I did download the uh, the demo for that. Uh, I haven't tried it out yet. Did you Did you play the demo? Yo, the kaiju game looks looks pretty cool I, I might have to import that if it if it gets a physical release otherwise i'll i'll just download it but still it is a partnership built on three pillars Each i'm glad they did the uh, the demo for live alive um i i really need to check that out soon i've been looking forward to that since they announced it Particular note is Lord Dragan, whose knowledge has allowed us to so swiftly see our labor bear. Nice, yeah, I might do that, uh, or might play the demo, I guess, slightly before the release. Um, that way, I can just jump into the full game as soon as it it comes out to just transfer the data over. And House Wolfort, whose mediation has proved invaluable in forming this accord, may their deeds be forever remembered by history. Let us raise our cups and toast to their health and happiness. Huzzah! Huzzah! The Shinobi chapter? Oh, that's really cool. So which chapters are available for, in the demo? Um, I guess apparently the, uh, the Shinobi one. Um, what are the other two? And is it the full chapter or is it like only like a, an episode of the chapter and then... It kind of ends a little early. Do not get too swept away in the moment, Eridor. We have a job to do here, and the day has only begun. Now that the formalities are done with, let the festivities begin. Step forward, Sir Maxwell. So, this is the one they call the Dawn Spear. Glenbrook's fiercest warrior. They say he has never known defeat. I would take the measure of this man. Now that the foundations for peace have been laid, let us... It's still cool, though, that the, uh, have that much content in a demo. Um, I'm sure that's probably a few hours worth of gameplay. Like, typically, uh, demos are maybe half an hour or something, but, uh, that, that sounds like a lot in there. Oh, that's cool. The future one? Nice, nice. Yeah, I definitely want to check that out before the full game comes over. I will just transfer the data, um, into the full game. There is a tourney to be had, after all. 
a much more entertaining event than my endless speeches. <laughs> How's the uh, the music in it? <laughs> Will any among you prove a match for our Sir Maxwell, the champion of our previous challenge? I very much look forward to finding out. Until then, help yourselves to our hospitality and our wine. Eat, drink, and be merry. It shall not be long until final preparations are complete. Amazing, that's awesome. I heard the uh, the Super Nintendo version, or I guess Super Famicom version, was really good. I wasn't sure uh, if they... If it still sounds as good as that, if like uh, updated the quality or whatever, um, but yeah, that, that's awesome. Ah, but I forget myself. Our time is nigh, Lord Wolfort. Congratulations. I was talking with uh, Mellow Wolf earlier um, about the uh, Dragon Quest, uh, Dragon Quest Three HD Two D remake. We're looking forward to that. Um, Square's been on a, a roll with these. Like, uh, we were also talking about the Octopath game that came out a couple years ago. Uh, and this one, uh, and I guess Live Alive now. Um, I hope they continue that trend with maybe a Chrono Trigger remake. Uh, Chrono Trigger in this style would be fantastic. You'll do your father proud, I'm sure. Unlike some of us. Yourself, my friend. After all, you too shoulder the future of the kingdom. I wonder. I wonder if Lenbrook will truly flourish thanks to anything I do. Yeah, yeah, that one looks really cool too. Um, I got some of the 3DS or I guess DS vibes from that because there was a, uh, I forget the exact name, but I think there was a Dragon Quest uh, Monsters game or something. It looks like it's kind of taking it's like a spiritual successor to that um yeah i forget the exact name of it it was really cool though um wait oh i didn't know that oh that's really cool i so i never finished uh dragon quest 11 um i need to i need to play i guess treasures before jumping into that game That's really cool, though. So, for uh, Dragon Quest XI, did you play the uh, 2D version, or did you play the, uh, I guess, the 3D version? Oh, yeah, for sure. I think we only got um, a small glimpse at what the true game is. I think Sonic Frontiers looks really good now, too. Um... The trailer that's shown at the direct uh, actually looked really good, um, which I mean that, that's fantastic and all, but it's a shame that Sega dropped the ball on this uh, on this title. Is IGN they showed some gameplay and it kind of made everyone worry about the game and understandably so. Um, but like Nintendo's presentation, they showed the game and like whoa, the uh, cyberspace levels I, I think that's what they were called they looked really cool looked uh reminiscent of like sonic generations and um i guess sonic unleashed so it's cool that they're kind of looking like that style um the combat looked kind of cool in the trailer they shown you two are quite the pair aren't you Oh, I see. Yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll need to pick that up then um, and play that again for sure. 
I may uh may check that out maybe later in the year. Um I know that Soul Hackers is also coming out. Um speaking of Soul Hackers, are you looking forward to uh Soul, Soul Hackers too? Yeah, for sure. Uh Frontiers definitely looks pretty good. It actually looks uh surprisingly good on the Switch. Um because it looks like there's a lot going on in that game. Um, with, I guess, in terms of scope. I am tasked with keeping his highness safe, though he often seems to resent it. Tis a pleasure to meet you, Lord Wolfwart. Ah, Prince Roland has told me much about you. I can see he is in good hands. I shall see that it is so, my lord. Now, let us begin our preparations. Today, we take the field. And today... Yeah, I hope it comes to Switch, too. Like, uh... It's a shame that it's not on there, considering they have, uh, SMT5. Now they have the Persona games coming on Switch. They could have easily made it go on the Switch. And from what I've seen from the gameplay, it doesn't look like it's going to be, uh, too taxing on the hardware. Yeah, it's um, it does look really good. Um, I played the original Soul Hackers. The first time I played it was on the 3DS when it was released. I don't know, uh, maybe ten years ago or so. Um, so I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, let's see. Green's arrow is down. Oh, that's super cool. I wonder how many people I can have in my party in these battles. Yeah, I hope it comes sooner rather than later, though, because Atlas has this weird thing of waiting till the last moment to port their game. Like, like for example, um, Persona 5 is a good, you know, good look at that. Because um, that was released, what, five years ago or so like for it to just now come to switch is kind of a shame Yeah, Atlas has been uh, making some weird decisions. And also, like, speaking of Atlas, the uh, 20... I think it's the 25th uh, anniversary of uh, Persona. Like, their whole year-long celebration has been kind of odd, too. Like, it's been mostly, um, like, concerts and merchandise and stuff. Like, I thought they were to have been a little bit more than just that. Something bigger. I, I'm sure that Persona 6 is going to be the last major announcement, which I think is going to be around September. Um, but yeah, it, their whole like rollout for the anniversary has been lacking, I think. Yeah, I think the last major announcement is going to be uh, 
Persona 6. Um, from my understanding, the uh, the celebration is supposed to be like a year long thing, and I think their last one is going to be in September. I hope it is, because uh, if it's not, it, it'll be kind of weird, uh, in my opinion. Like, I think I think the uh, Persona um, trilogy, I guess you could say, uh, is one of their bigger announcements, for sure. Um, Persona 5, 4, and 3. Um, I think that's a good announcement, but most of the time, it's been, like, soundtracks and t-shirts and stuff, just really weird things that you can get any other day. So far uh, with this game, I'm really liking the um, the choices you make and how they kind of direct the flow of the story. I, I think that's kind of cool. Um, I haven't seen that uh, that scale thing. Uh, it's called the scale of conviction. I haven't seen that come up, um, at least in terms of major choices. But the other questions, are like the one that just came up, is kind of cool. What, um, I haven't seen, seen that, like, did, wait, are they the same channel that said, hey, uh, um, I guess, do a port for Soul Hackers 2, or was that somebody else? Because I know that, uh, somebody tweeted at, at Liss and said, hey, it's cool that you're bringing Persona 3, 4, and 5 to Switch. Now, can you do the same for Soul Hackers 2? I, I could have swore I seen something like that on Twitter. Um, I'm not sure if that's the the thing you're talking about or if it's something else. I'll need to check it out though. If, uh, I'm, I think the most of the, um, uh, Persona updates I've gotten from, um, uh, from one of my, uh, PR folks. I've talked to them about some of that stuff, which is kind of cool. <laughs> That's cool for sure. I think I seen OJ, um, also tweet some stuff about it. His stuff has been golden too. cool talking to these folks can teach you about different spells that's really cool So this is uh for this soundtrack it's one of the more i mean it's not bad but it it doesn't seem like your traditional square so or square enix game um in terms of their soundtrack i think uh 
I think as I mentioned earlier, I think Octopath had a little bit better one. Um, and I guess from what you're saying, like uh, Live Alive is definitely really good too. But this one is uh, has some good tracks, but this one's the one that's playing right now is a little strange. <laughs> yeah it's uh i mean it's not bad um I, I guess I'm just used to their other games like Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger had, I think, still has one of the best soundtracks in gaming. So, in terms of the soundtracks, um, like, what's your overall favorite uh video game soundtrack oh yeah it's definitely different um i guess it's something that is an acquired taste probably i'll probably get more used to it a little bit later in the game go ahead and save real quick cool all right and from there yeah all right so it sounds like the tournament is about to start nice Cool. All right, recommend the level three. Gen five, I think is uh, underrated um, in my opinion. Um, I think the storyline is probably one of the better uh, Pokemon games. Um, I loved how instead of doing just like a, you know, black, white, and maybe a gray version or whatever, they went and did a uh, black and white too, um, to kind of continue the story. And I loved how in those games, um, you seen growth in some of the characters from the first game. Like you seen one of the, uh, rivals, I can't remember their names, but, uh, one of the rivals became a gym leader and yeah, like the, uh, like you mentioned, the music in that game is really good too. The, uh, as far as, uh, games that I'm playing right now, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 definitely has a uh, really solid soundtrack. I'm loving that one a lot. Um, some of my other go-to soundtracks that I just listen to all the time. Um, Persona 5, just hands down, not gonna lie, like, I'll, you know, plug that one in and just listen to that while I'm working sometimes. Um, Mega Man X, the, uh, first... Super Nintendo game. Fantastic uh, soundtrack. That one uh, I can turn on at any time and just, you know, chill with that one. It's really good. Um, Chrono Trigger, like I mentioned before, that one is... I, I don't think that soundtrack's ever going to age poorly. Like, that one is a classic, really. Fighting for the honor of the Holy and yeah, some of the Pokemon games have some really good soundtracks, like a... Uh, the uh, Lance uh, Champion theme is really good. Um, Fighting for the honor of the kingdom I, of Glenbrook. I like the, uh, the battle against Red. That one's good too. Um, I think Cynthia's was pretty good. Um, there's just a ton of different things. 
I mean, you can't forget about Star Fox too. Like, uh, I think it's Corny area. Um, that, you know, I think it's like the first stage. That one, all time classic. Really good. The Wolford Lordling is here in his father's stead, I see. You mentioned uh, Pokemon earlier. Um, obviously, like Scarlet and Violet, those are going to be some really good games too. Um, I'm, my uh, my girlfriend, she's actually looking forward to it, which is cool. Um, I'm going to get the uh, double pack, and we're going to get the. Uh, she's going to play Violet, and uh, I'll play Scarlet, and um, yeah, we're looking forward to you know playing that one together. She's. The last, I know that you know, it didn't come out all that long ago, but uh, she played um, Arceus and really dug that one too. However, like the other games before that, like the last one that she really enjoyed, um, that was probably like, it's been a long time. It was probably like Gen 5, Gen 4 um, on the DS that she liked. Oh yeah, yeah. All the Pokemon games music, those are really good. I mean, all-time classics. You will match swords with me. I promise to make it every bit as exhilarating as father would. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That's really cool. I wonder if um cuz when I got the double pack from for Diamond and Pearl uh last year, I got it from Amazon and it had like the uh a code that came with it so you could start with like 20 of each type of pokeball or something uh i wonder if they're going to do something similar with this run indeed i look forward to crossing swords with you the combatants have assembled now let the battles begin i shall announce our first pairing as chosen by lot minister Exham and lord walford Make ready for combat! The return to the encampment, that's cool. Unit placement. Yeah, I'm glad that like uh, Amazon, they typically um, do stuff like that, have different codes as an extra incentive, like, you know, start with different Pokeballs or whatever. Um, it's cool to get a head start in a game like that. Nice. So how far can I move them? Nope. Okay, I guess I just switch. Uh, with her being kind of... Uh, there we go. I think having her right there is good. I'll have him. He's more of a guy that does like different stat buffs. So I'll have him in the back and I'm like... Casting on these guys. Um, she's a healer. Having her in the back is good. She, yeah, I think that's probably fine. Anna. Um, I think I'm going to have Anna over here. And this guy's more in defense. So. Have him be the big shield guy right there. That's fine. Yeah, I think they did do it with uh, uh, RCS. Oh, oh, thank you. Have a good night, man. Uh, I mean, thank you for stopping by the uh, the stream. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and have a good night. I re uh, really appreciate you stopping by.
I'll uh, save right here. Okay, cool. And begin. Cool, thank you. No quarter from you, Prince Roland, nor from you, Lord Serenoa. Show us the sword play your house is so famous for. They're two of Hyzant's most famed generals. We'll have no room for mistakes. Then we shall make none. Now, let us show the realm the medal of the new generation. For honor and glory! Time to work. All right, so with this. My turn. Shall we begin? This battle is 
stars. You'll get no mercy from us. Come on. Defeat is not an option. To lead, I must grow. I shall try my level best. It is time to strike. Thank you. How shall I destroy you? Cool heads shall prevail. Yo, what's up? How's it going? So far, it's really good. Uh, yeah, if you ever get the opportunity, I, I think you'd like it for sure. Um, this is only the uh, the second battle so far, but um, I'm liking it. I, I think you'll you'll appreciate the game once once you check it out. How's your day going so far? to our hope. I will end this. Nice, nice. What are you having for dinner? I was going uh, good so far, for sure. Um, yeah, just going to play this for a bit. And then uh, I might watch a, a movie or a show uh, tonight with Jess for a little bit. On Friday, her and I, we're going to try to catch the uh, second part of uh, Stranger Things. Um, have you seen that yet? Victory is the one 
Nice, that's super cool. Yo, freaking pasta, that's awesome. Hell yeah. I actually had that, uh, something similar for dinner. I had just regular old spaghetti, but still good. Oh yeah, that's right, the uh, item drop. I, got, I gotta pick that up. Kudos. For victory. Nice. Yo, the new season is really good. Um, hopefully it hasn't been spoiled for you yet, but um, if you ever get the chance, definitely uh, try to catch it as soon as possible because I'm sure spoilers are running rampant right now. We're going to try to watch uh, part two. Um, we just binge watched uh, most of the, I guess, I part one uh, recently. Wrapped up uh, episode seven. I think it was Sunday we wrapped it up. It was really good so far. Yeah, that's definitely true. I, I could see that. Um, cause you know what to expect. You're like, well, how do you, how does that really occur? Or like you want to see like the full detail on the big screen and stuff. Let's see for this one. I don't want to get that item before it disappears. See, I can corpo. I can take him out, or at least mostly. Take those two. Next character after this is my healer. All right. Yeah, I think I'll. Go with this one. Yeah. All right. Let us pry out their weakness. So, what other uh, games have you been playing lately? Attack that guy. How shall I destroy you? Sweet. Yes. Jesus, I need to heal that guy. Yo, the new TMT game is so good. I'm really glad that came out. Um, I got a lot of uh, Turtles in Time vibes from it. It just uh, was basically like revisiting my childhood with that game. Yo, how's it going? Yo, thank you for uh, subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. A 
Allow me. Let's see with this person, I'm gonna use Scorch again, and I'll target this one. Yeah. So that's gonna wipe out that one guy and almost kill that general. Yeah, TMT though, and the music, the freaking soundtrack is incredible. Butter late than never. That's fantastic. <laughs> I really appreciate it though. Thank you for that. the goddess in odd places exam this trifling tourney will bring Isaac neither riches nor glory the goddess works in myriad ways minister sorcery you would do well to keep your eyes attuned yeah for sure especially the so one of my uh my favorites in that game is um like where the turtles are using the uh the hovered hoverboards um and they attack that bat guy i can't remember the name of the stage but where um it has a lyrics and stuff it was really good <laughs> i appreciate it either way man it was really it's really cool i appreciate it So this nice. I'll take that guy out. Or wait. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I all right. Uh There we go. Okay, cool. I asked for no quarter. You did not disappoint. Perhaps one day we can fight as allies. Minister Sorsley, I leave the rest in your capable hands. The uh, the freaking fight um, with uh, Shredder at the end of the game, that was really cool. Um, Super Shredder, like, Oh, in the uh, the Tokar and Razor fight, that's one of my favorites. Um, when I seen that, I got super hyped because I remember the uh, um, Secret of the Ooze movie. All right, so I need to heal uh, the main character. Let me do that real quick. Time to work. All right, and with this one, oh, cool! I can, uh, I can attack this guy. Let's do now. And this. I agree a hundred percent. Um, I think the fights were better in that the soundtrack was better. Um, just the, the comedy, the, the humor in that movie was a little bit better too. I think it was a really good sequel. Oh man, is this guy going to die? Yeah. Um, uh, can I get to him in time? Yo. Cool. I have the bow. Let's go after that guy. Only that guy, I guess. Wait. Um, can I go here? Nope. Okay. All right. Whoa. 
Well, just that. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. The uh, the freaking gif works. That's awesome. Yo, yeah, vanilla ice. Yes. Oh man, that scene was the best. I actually uh, never watched the entire one for that um, for that particular movie. I tried to get into it. I, I just couldn't. Um, my I guess nostalgia for me would always be the first two. There is no I need to watch the uh, the second Michael Bay one again. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Like the first Michael Bay one was terrible, um, but the, the second one wasn't too bad. That one might be uh, probably not the most well-regarded opinion though. to attack this guy. Sorry. All right, cool. At least the our ideals reality. Now then. Time. Darn. Damn it. I underestimated them. Don't lose heart, Sarah Noah. Show them that the Wolfords never back down. Hopefully there's not permanent death. I shall do what I can. Alright, and then we go over here. Heal this guy. Allow me. My thanks. Come at me. Alright, now let me go over here and Definitely gonna use that, okay. My turn. Uh. Allow me. All right, and then I should be able to take this guy out. It's over. Nice. All right, so we just have the one, or I guess two guys on there. Oh, he took his no. forward. I uh never seen that. Um I need to check that out. Biker mice. Is that something recent? Um is that like a cartoon or some or a comic? Maybe I can do a support over there. And let's see. Take him out. Or I 
and go after this guy. I think I'll do that. Nope. Darn. Okay. I fight for peace. Oh, I remember Street Sharks. I do remember that one. Um, I guess I just missed. Uh, I guess I just missed the other one. Biker mice. I do remember seeing the uh, Street Sharks. Uh, like there was a cartoon. I think there were some uh, action figures uh, in the early '90s for that too. I think there may have been a game or something too. I could be wrong though. If I go here, I can do that without friendly fire. That would wipe him out, but I have a few others I can attack just in case. So yeah, I'll go with that. How could this be? Sweet. Yes! Yes! Cool heads shall prevail. Alright, and then with this one. I go. I mean, I can grab that thing, but. is next I think that would be a waste because I have the other person oh nice I could get support though Yo, how's it going? I can fight no further. You just get off work? Nice, I got that. Time to work. Nice, there we go. Freaking long days for you. I was just telling the uh, the others in the chat uh, about how you and I have been watching Stranger Things and enjoying that. We're going to probably uh, try to catch the uh, series finale on a Friday. Looking forward to that. Yo, you missed it too. Um, I just got a new subscriber on this. And when the subscri subscription happened, uh, there was a Godzilla gift that came up and you had like the sun sunglasses and stuff. It was pretty freaking awesome. Your father taught you well. You wield that great sword with skill beyond your years. Well fought. The day is yours. Victory goes to House Fulford. So I, I'm sure you've seen this game a few times in directs, but uh, I think it's cool how you can kind of dictate the story um, based on your actions. So. 
I'm kind of enjoying that aspect of the game so far. Oh, uh, forgot to tell you, so I, I told you, I think it last night I told you that uh, my friend started um, Stranger Things. They're trying to get caught up. They just wrapped up episode seven earlier today. So they're right where you and I are. Really cool. Like <laughs> they seen the uh, the episode with um, with Max uh, yesterday and it was freaking hype for them as it should be. Um, the, uh, they were really excited about this, the, the stuff that happened in like episode 7 with uh, Nancy and they also had like some cool stuff with Dustin and then um, yeah, it, it's cool freaking amazing season so far look at that you got your freaking mod status thing in here too taught you they taught you well though something tells me you surpassed your teacher long ago your defense is formidable yeah um the music is yours. Yeah, at least right now for sure i, I agree 100 uh some of the music is not my favorite um legit i thought some of it sounded like elevator music which is a bit odd for square i think square usually does better um but yeah right now it's not too bad i yield the voice acting's not too bad though there's a uh, one character in this um who legit sounds like jiraiya from naruto and that made me really happy oh yeah i totally agree stranger things has been Incredible. I'm really excited about it. 11 views? That's awesome. Victory goes to Sir Maxwell. Ah, my hand. I can't feel it. <laughs> oh, so that music just got really dark. I pray never to meet her on the battlefield. All right, so that person's probably not going to be good. Um, that was uh, ominous. There will be no quarter given today, young lord of House Wolfort. I would expect nothing less. What do you think of the uh, new layout? for wear considering the blow you took from sir maxwell uh, he was too strong for us in the end today yes but let us keep at our training one day the students will surpass their master let us work hard for that day my friend i love this uh hd 2d style uh, i'm glad that square has been using a lot for their more recent rpgs or i guess remakes in general um like live alive is going to use it uh dragon quest is going to use it in one of their upcoming games i hope they do the same for chrono trigger oh thank you yeah yeah i agree uh a little bit easier to see everything and his stalwart allies prove their mettle against the realm's fiercest warriors before finally facing sir maxwell victor of the previous tourney though beaten in the end sarah noah's courageous display impresses itself upon all in attendance any doubts concerning house wolfort's martial might are put to rest thus marks an end to the tourney and the festivities as a whole with the spirit of harmony in their hearts the delegates of each nation make preparations for their return voyages
So what um, TV show or movie did you want to watch tonight? If you have time, that is. Remind you. It is not to be taken lightly. Worry not, Benedict. They shall be sent off with all the pomp they deserve. You take to your new role well, Lord Serenoa. As I must now take to my own. Pray, visit me at the mines whenever you have the time. Well, Frederica, may we never meet again. Whoa. Okay. Thank you for such a productive use of our valuable time. What the hell? These guys are assholes. I do so love interminable speeches and watching brutes play at war. Truly, the spirit of Glenbrook was on display for all to see. Jesus Christ. Oh, but I should watch my tongue. Wouldn't want her to go whimpering to brother. I'm totally gonna have my nation war go to war with these guys. Hey, my fool cousin, no mind. We have work to do. Work more important than any he could hope to be trusted with. I apologize for those two. This was a fruitful day for all in attendance. I am glad to hear you say so, General Lavlora. I can't believe we lost. I thought you were supposed to be one of Hyzant's greatest warriors. Our foe was a worthy one. It would be an honor to cross blades again someday. Thank you for your hospitality. Please give my regards to Lord Simon. Of course, Minister. It would seem everyone is gathered. You'll find your boats are laden with a bounty of Glenbrook's finest wares and victuals. Yeah, I'm totally down for a horror movie. Uh, your your choice, though. Your pick. King Regna asks that you eat and drink your fill and toast to our three nations' newfound alliance. More of that swill you call wine? I suppose I could force myself to partake. God. Your king on He's a... Uh... Those two at the, in the far right in the top. I can't wait to have my characters like beat them. Like they are the worst. <laughs> Lord Wolfort, I bring a message from King Regna. He would have you join our guests on their return voyage to serve as their envoy. This is a great honor, my lord. You would represent our nation and speak with the king's voice. If it is his majesty's wish, it is a duty I will gladly accept. But there are two vessels and only one of me. Did King Regna say which of our honored guests I should accompany? He would leave that decision to you, Lord Wilford. Lord Falks, as representative of another of Glenbrook's high houses, will board the ship you do not. And why was House Tellior not given this honor? Last I knew, our kingdom had three high houses, not two. The mere fact that you whimper those words before us is an answer enough. Good show at the tourney, Lord Serenoa. You truly are your father's son. The king has seen fit to leave this decision in your hands, and I shall not gainsay his wisdom. A lord must be worldly as well as wise. 
I trust you will conduct yourself as befits the Lord of a High House. Thank you, Sir Maxwell, Lord Falks. It's great anytime uh, one of the characters are heavy in thought. Like, you just see those little speech bubbles come up and little dots and make that noise. It's, uh, it's kind of humorous in my opinion. He means to test my judgment. He is waiting to see which I choose and for what reason. Indeed. We are friendly with both nations now, so neither choice will earn his ire. That said, there is no telling how these relations may change going forward. No doubt, the choice you make will have an effect on our own house's relationship with the nation you choose. I understand. This requires careful consideration. Benedict, gather the others. I would hear their opinions on the matter. Then we shall consult the scales of conviction. At once, my lord. Tavern. Shop. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, it looks like the first time I'll uh, use the scales. Uh, in the game, I guess that's supposed to be a big uh, gameplay mechanic in this. Kind of determines the uh, the flow of the story. Um, I'm probably gonna check that out some other time though. Um, what I'm gonna do is, uh, you know, get rid of the save, and I may stream again. Uh, probably Saturday. I think Saturday will be good. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Um. Jess, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, talk to you, I guess, in a little bit. We'll watch that uh, horror movie. But, uh, uh, yeah, thanks, everyone, for, uh, you know, catching the stream. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a great night. Thanks, everyone.